What's your name? Judy. Judy? Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Miss Judy? Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta? Mm -hmm. What parts? Um, basically all over. How old are you? Uh, 52. 52? Mm -hmm. Are you homeless? Yes. Yes? How long you been homeless? Uh, now I'm about, it's about five years. How'd you get in this situation? What happened? Uh, drugs. Drugs? What type of drugs? Crack. Crack? How long have you been using crack? Um, since, I guess, uh, 82. From the state of affairs in Iran to the state of Georgia, when you think of Georgia, you may think of peaches, pecans, and Coca-Cola. But these days, Georgia is becoming known for a different kind of Maybe you've noticed, but don't know why. Addicts are moving to a new drug of choice, moving away from heroin to crack cocaine. We've all seen the homeless lined up at soup kitchens or sleeping under bridges. And when we see them, we're reminded that Atlanta has an underclass. An underclass that's often under Crack addicts pay to humiliate themselves, and people are buying the DVDs, and the crackheads are now stars on Atlanta streets. It's called Crackheads Gone Wild. It's here. And the guy that makes it says it's a public service. My name is Judy. I've been walking these streets for about nine years. Sometimes I got to sleep outside in the cold. Sometimes I don't have shit to eat. But these are the sacrifices I made in order to feed my addiction to crack cocaine. I, I lost control of my life. Where do you live at now? Right here in the living room. Right here? That's what y'all call this area? The living room. The police give y'all any trouble for being over here? Uh, well, no, this is not private property. This is basically owned by the church. Church, uh, they looked out for us. Over in this area, the living room. So is it a peaceful place? Everybody gets along? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we get, you know, have words, you know, but even I have words with my family sometimes. And we, we a family. If you could change anything in your life, what would it be? get out these drugs and, and, and pursue my life like my grandkids grow up. Oh man, I'm trying to get up out of here. I, I, I'm trying to take one step at a time. Why do you take drugs? I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to explain. How does it make you feel? <laughs> That's a question. I can't even answer right now. It's just, right now it's just, just I don't get that now. I don't get that night of it now, cause you know, it's, I've been doing this shit so long. It's, 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 it's old. It's old. My name is Seventeen. I've been on the streets for 21 years due to crack cocaine and heroin. I started off like at 21 years old. I started using heroin. My dad introduced me to the like the pip and stuff, but. With the pimping stuff, it goes good. You know the stories about pimping. As long as you got crack, the holes are there. It's not, it's not like it used to be because the girls don't walk no more. It's all about dealing with it. It's all about escort service, you know? So I mess with these white girls, and I'm doing dope. I find myself, I lose my car, my house, everything, like overnight. But I was on the cover smoking. I like smoked and got high on the weekend. Then I start smoking to get high Monday. Then I skip and start smoking and get high Wednesday. Then all of a sudden, boom, I'm missing work. Boom, there you go. I start smoking every day. I gotta sit down because my knees are getting out. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get this ability right now. That smoke pimp popping out of LA right there. What's cracking like? He done fell off too. Oh. He done fell off. Hell yeah, I've got to tell you, I used to have a grill like this. Every Dope took that Don't make your teeth fall out? Yeah, don't make your teeth fall out. <laughs> yeah. Man, the crack is the number one. Let me see all these. Nine out two by five. Come on, man. Everybody you see with Still that smoke crack. Don't you see that teeth fall out? Making progress. Right. Yeah, yeah eat it up, man. What's wrong? Every day I had a bitch on the track with the legs wide open. You ought to dig up a back. On a fire, pepper fire, they called me a back. And I called rules to this guy. And I checked him for that.
A lot of people are quick to look down on me because I'm homeless, disrespect me. What they fail to realize is I'm a person too. I might not be living as good as them, but I still have, have a soul and still have a story. What's going on with you today? Well, woke up this morning, thank God. I'm seeing another day. Anything on your agenda for the day? Uh, just trying to make it. I find different ways to make money, like sell dope, pick up cans, have a little run, run me sale, but I never had to, to stoop down to sell my body. I'm originally from Virginia, but uh, not today. They, they, he left this morning. He left? Yeah. Um, originally from Virginia, and now I'm at home now. Um, 52 years old, on the wrong path. But I, I ain't always been on drugs, you know what I'm saying? My profession, I'm a licensed chef. And um, I got caught up in drugs, um, selling drugs, smoking. I have a beautiful family. I have a daughter, 34, three grandkids, and one great grand. My daughter, my daughter named Stephanie. Um, she come by, she come by, see me every day. She uh, she said, "Mommy, you ready to go home?" It, I'm not, I'm not here by choice, not because I have to be here. It's just, it's just respecting my, 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 house, my house, my grandkids, my daughter. She know what I do. It, it, it hurts her for me to be out here because she, she tells me, Mama, I keep having these bad dreams. I keep getting hurt. I've been in jail so many times, you wouldn't believe it. I've been in prison, jail. My, 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 my police record is so, it's ugly. Possession, possession with intent, possession with intent to distribute. Nothing, nothing but drugs, nothing but drugs, you know. My record is so ugly, I can't even have a sponge. It, 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 always, it always be that way. And that's another reason I stopped selling drugs. If I go back, if I go back to jail for selling drugs, I'm gonna do 30 years to the door. I can't see myself doing it. I can't see myself doing it. And 30 years to the door, and I'm 52 now. Come on. In my, in, 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 in my, in my life, in, in my life when, uh, when, I, when I was in prison, when my daughter. She was, she was a child. He said, I just, I, you know, I, I couldn't go see about her in school. My grandmama had to do it, you know. But I refused to let my grandkids, you know, I want to see them walk down. I want to see them graduate. I want to go to some of my grandkids' football games, you know. Um, my, my granddaughter's first recital, you know. I, I, when, when, I'm, when I'm locked up, I, I, think, I think good things that I need to do, things I want to do, when I get back out here in the same environment, same shit. You know, same shit. That's how long it's been off. No, I ain't been seeing it go down like that. No, I'm not. Yeah, I just got to go on here. That dude's right now. Right before we interviewed this gentleman, we interviewed that guy. Bro, what'd you, what'd you find him at? Are we here right here, yeah. Right here. Bro. Excuse me. That's the wrong man. Okay. I'm pretty positive, yeah, because okay, yeah, we've been here for about she, 30 minutes. She done pointed out two, two more people up the street. We, we, we just got to look into it. I got you. All right. I know it wasn't going to be that. I've known this lady for 20 some years, man. Been over here just as long as I have. You know what, man? This, this girl, she used to be one of the most attractive ladies in the city. Man, I've been knowing all my life. Out of tech, been about twenty years. Yeah, that's right. Been knowing all my life. Northside Drive, Northside Drive, and tech with homes over here, sir. This guy was one of the most attractive ladies downtown. And kept and stayed dressed. Wow, she just she just lost it. Take my money. That's what they here for. To serve and protect. I want my motherfucking money, sir. What happened? Took my money. They run. I'm gonna put some bang on it. I'm gonna jump in.
Yeah, I used to be a beautiful one. Hell down my I used to be a measurement. Chilling. No fault at school in fucking. Very intelligent. Hmm. May 28th, 1988. What happened on that day? My dad. Great, kill my mom. Great, I was going kill my mama. They get my mom. I told you, bro, that not a dog that you turn. I've been going ever since. My heart hurt. I'm sorry. That's my baby. That's my baby, Nick, man. Will you? Yeah. You think I won't? We'll get you some. Correct. I think it's people different. It, 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 it's a, like, say, if I take a hit right now, I can keep sitting here talking to y'all, talking and it, it, it's no changing. Okay, see, this is one of those, one of them people over there, they have to take a hit, and they have to jump up, go tripping, you know, pick stuff about the ground, thinking it's crack. I apologize to him. You apologize? Yes. For what? Because he was just like the guy that took my money. Something's up. Something hurts you. Something happened in your heart. And you shall go here and come stop. She likes you and put a camera. And find yourself in the shadow. Because I did not kill a name one of you bush ass motherfuckers. You dummy ass some bitches around here. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling no man of God. No man of God. See, I will take this cigarette by the I'll red hood. My son and take this, 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 this hoodie. Put your drawers down, right? And when you he go to sleep, see how he's bound like me. And let this that. motherfucker rip side. Come on, and get Come on, come on. I'm getting up, I'm dropping. Oh, come on, we're going, we're going to bushes. We can go in the trees, in the woods. I'm going to drop and I want you to come right behind me. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give you something good you want, Face it, you. You just wanna keep talking shit. Friend of mine, um, God bless the day he's dead now. When he, you know, when he used to take a hit, he used to, like. And when he came down one day, I said, Man, I met you something. I said, When you take a hit, why do you do that? He said, Everybody that's done wrong in life. You see them coming at me with guns, chains, sticks, axes, trying to kill them. You know, that's why I say it, it, every, it, it affects people differently. You know, you got some that stay on, on the same level and they will fully to the head. You got some that takes it to another level. You know, and uh, it's wild. <laughs> it, it's wild. And I basically deal with anybody on the on the trip. Once I, if, if, if say say if, if, if you take if you take your first hit and I see how you how you how you how you trip you, then I know next time I I, I decept you. At one point I thought my daughter was ashamed of me, but she she said, Mama, I never be ashamed of you. And whatever you do, you know. And she asked me yesterday, she said, Mama, would you get mad at me if I put you in a rehab? I told her no. But she just can't put she can't put me in the rehab. I have to go because I want to go. Because she can put me there and I can just leave time she leave, you know. But I got to want to do it. But I, right now, 
I feel like I'm, I'm at my end now. You know, when it comes to my family, when it makes her cry, it makes me cry. I don't think I'm gonna be out here too much longer. I'm tired. I'm a strong believer in God, you know. It's when the Bible says everything is everything is written before time. You know, and I don't I don't know if this part of my test in life, you know. But, but basically I'm, when I'm out here, I'm helping others. You know. I, I really can't understand it. You know, I, I, I haven't understand it. I understood it yet. Well, it's hard. You know, she was all, it's already fucking the brain up. But now, it's just. It, it was well. I, 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 I was just on powder, just, just, just right off the rock. Cut, nothing. You know, it, it would be a time where, just like me and you walking, and I. No, I'm thinking my nose running, but it's bleeding. Not just a little drop, but just bleeding. You know, I couldn't even hold my head up. You know. She was bleeding. So I left that alone. But I can't remember to write today. We're going to do some to the crack. Everything. Who knows what you mean by just everything? Well, that's a funny story. Uh, my wife, I grew up with my wife, okay? She, me and her had a little girl. We got married in 92, okay? In 95, New Year's Eve, we were driving. A 17-year-old girl was drunk, run a red light, broadside is. I lost my wife and daughter. A year and a half later, that girl went to court. She got three years probation. I don't remember doing it, but I jumped the rail in the courtroom and tried to kill her. The judge gave me 20 years in prison for trying to kill one person. But that girl got three years probation for actually killing two people. I don't care for the government. I don't care for the system. And I'm sorry. It was understandable. You have a little girl. I walk by and smack her in the head. What you gonna do to me? Snap. Yeah. You gonna protect your kid. That's your life. That's your blood. That girl got three years probation for taking my life. Took him. She never did a j day in jail. I just got out of prison two years ago. That's why I'm homeless. I do have a part-time job, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Where do you sleep? On the street. I refuse to stay in these shelters. I have gotten my clothes stolen from me. I had, for actually from this check cashing store, back in December, I go through the trash cans for these lottery scratch off tickets. They, y'all scratch off, y'all throw them away. Everybody makes mistakes, can we agree on that? A lot of times people throw away winners. Well, by the grace of God, in December I found a $50 ticket. I went and got my hair cut, shaved, got some work boots, got me a job. Three days later in the shelter, I woke up, my boots are gone. Like it. 
three days ago at Burger King right there. I asked a woman for help. She told me, F you, Cracker, get an effing job. Well, she don't know me. She don't know my situation. So it's kind of mean for someone to say. But she walked off. I look back this way. There's a gold wallet sitting on the ground. You know, female wallet. But I picked it up. I didn't know whose it was. I picked it up. Turned right around. I'm at the doorway of Burger King. I turned right around. Went back into went into Burger King to the security officer. Gave it to him. I need money. I need help, but not bad enough to take something that I know ain't mine. I try, but I can't do enough. Yeah, I smoke some weed sometimes. Yeah, I've been to jail a few times for shoplifting, stealing food. Hey, sometimes people out here won't help. You gotta do what you gotta do. I've made my own mistakes. Don't get me wrong, I'm not blaming it on society. Call the brown bag. Number one bag. Number one bag. Got to have the stem, which is a rose. They call it a rose, but we call them stem. Got to have a pillow. Which is something, just something you screw up pots with. Got to have your lighter. This is what we call a pusher. Okay, piece of co uh, coat hanger. Take your rolls out. You, know, you, know, you no longer need the rolls. If the rolls are just there for decorations. Some have rolls and some don't. But you know, it's just for decorations. And it's legal to sell those? It's not legal. I, I can go in Chevron, and if the police officer in now, they won't sell it to me. But the time that police leave, they'll sell it. That's to sanitize it. But yeah, take some of the um the gold and so you know. Yeah, that's a good word to use, sanitize. Yeah. Okay. Pack your Brillo. And what's the purpose of the Brillo? To so, so your crap won't go straight through the glass. Okay, so it's like a filter. Exactly, exactly. It's a filter. Okay. It's ready to swim. Cream, uh, a beige, the dope, uh, the cushions in, and that's good dope. That's good dope. It's soft though, it's no good, it's never garbage. It's just something they don't hook. Something they don't hook up, put in the bag. Just something to put out there to make money. Now they, they don't give a damn what they say. You know, they can put some horse shit in the bag. You know, they <laughs> tell you it's crap. Yeah. You know, but that's like just certain people that I, you know, that, that, that I spend my money with. Shit is too expensive. What's your name? Uh, it's, uh, uh, what are you going Joe, by? Joe. Joe. Where are you from, Joe? Uh, Winston Salem, North Carolina. Okay, how long you been in Georgia? Oh, about about three years. Do you work? Yeah. Yeah. Work trying to work. But I don't have a job. Are you homeless, sir? No. No? Where you live at? I told you I'm up there off of Silver Road in Everhart. I live on Everhart. I don't have any address now. Oh, no, no, no. What you doing out here? They're coming to get some food. They don't want them out here. Don't you want to tell me what 
So we, we feed them every Sunday. We feed them uh, big meals, real big meals on holidays, um, like you feed your family. Okay. Um, what I do is, um, you know, of course you see me and my husband, we, we do this out of our car. Okay. We don't get any, any uh, funds or anything. We just, you know, out of the goodness of our heart because it's something that God put on our heart to do. Okay. And um, so when it gets cold, you know, we, we, we give them a sleeping bag, my sleeping bag, jackets, tennis shoes, and clothes. I don't give them anything that's used. Now, you could take that down and ask for clutch of it. Because so people ride by looking at that my face, and I don't want them to think I'm saying nothing about them. Okay. You should take that down. People come out of feed basically every day or every other day. Out here to set up? Uh, once a month we do homeless outreach day. Different, yeah. different spots. Okay. This is the street entrance right here. You go from the street. Okay, we call this the pathway. Okay, that's this, this, this part here. Okay. I'm gonna take you around on the other side and take you as far as I, I, I can take you. You know, we step back here and Hit. Some women come back here and date. You know, uh, I try to do my best to keep it clean, but then they come right back and fuck it up. Uh, you might see used condoms laying everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Freshly used, still has its, you know, its shit in it. Yeah. Hey, this is what you get for five dollars. Now this is a good it's a good texture though. It's a good texture. It's hard. Clean color. I wouldn't say it's glass, but <coughs> I, I spent five. You melted it into the Brillo? Yeah, melted it into the Brillo. Number one, <coughs> so it won't fall off. You ready? Yeah. It's pretty good texture though. You only get one hit. Now, people say everybody has their own trip. Like I told you uh, early on in, in the documentary, it's like when I when I when I smoke crack, it's like I remain the same. Excuse me. Some people might come back here and take out on the ground. Some might take out running, but I remain the same. It, it doesn't affect me no different. You know, I, I hit once, put my stem up, and go do what I, what I would normally do. Then I might come back about 20, 30 minutes later and hit it again. So, just I keep my composure. You know, it's, it, it makes me more aware of, of my surroundings. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a very observant person, you know, it's like, it, it don't affect me like it, like it used to. Yeah. It, it might, I might, my, my speech might slur a little bit, but, you know, 
basically the same. But I know it affects my brain, my eyesight. It's a deadly killer, I know that. My name is everybody called me Herc. <clears throat> right, graduated in 1976. Went to the University of Miami. What news that gonna be on? Two years got kicked out doing drugs. Been in the streets ever since. The streets ain't no joke. I tell all kids out here today, right? Don't let your surrounding influence you and doing the wrong thing. I started using drugs in 1977, snorting cocaine. Got turned out by a female. Female turned me out in 77, been on drugs ever since. Went from snorting cocaine, shooting cocaine, to smoking crack, to doing several other things I'm not proud of. Yeah, my name is El Sharon, man. From ATF, born in Perry home. Moody Lay Meadow, I'm 42 years old. I've been on the streets since I was 13. When I was 8 years old, I used to go pick up, my, pick up dope for my mom, man. My mom used to let, tell me to go pick up packages. I ain't know what a package was then. Back in the 70s, the early 80s. And, and one day, I looked in the bag, and I seen a lot of dope. Ever since then, I know what it was. Me and my mama just smoke crack together. May, may God forgive her, you know. My mama did die. They was in the car wreck, both of them died together. I've been on my own since I was 15 years old, in the street. Hustling, stealing, doing drugs, you know. I, I stayed in the apartment, he laid metal, they told him now. Made him out of golf course and everything, man, you know. I'm 42 years old, I try to talk to these young guys around, because I'm bent, you know what I'm saying, they say I don't know some shit, you gotta be on bent some shit, you know what I'm saying. But the thing is, is about me being homeless, is not really, but in so many ways it's about choice, but it's the, these, the city of Atlanta, what, what they doing there, forcing people to be homeless by tearing all these projects down and, 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 and kicking people out. Because first the white folks moved out of the outer city. They seen how bad the traffic was in Atlanta. They, 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 they want to come back to the inner city. They start tearing the projects down, you know what I'm saying? And they making people homeless, you know. You know, these young guys running around here, man, they, you know, they're against each other, man. Start, you know, I be trying to talk to them. You know, let's come together. You know what I'm saying? Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's go downtown. I don't care how you look. You know what I'm saying? Stand in front of the state capitol and talk about it like we doing now. You know what I'm saying? And talk about this thing real, man. Because it's for real. You know, everybody's about Obama. It ain't about Obama. It's about us. You know what I'm saying? We out here in these street, man. You know, I sleep right on that church porch every, every night, man. Every night home, but I still in the trip port. And the church folk feed, that, that's how I eat. You know what I'm saying? I try to hustle, man. I try to stay to myself. You know, I don't try to bullshit nobody. You know what I'm saying? Try to get food stamps, you know. The, the police come right, come right and lock everybody up down there for an open bill. You know, you go around that street right there, them white folk walking around with bill, liquor, and everything. The law required, if you got an open container, it's not incarceration. It's not jail time. If your name come clean, he writes your ticket and give you a court date. He don't want to do that. He want to write ways to taxpayer money and lock you up for an open container. And he'll be around here, if you stay here long enough, he'll be around here several days. I mean, three or four times a day, and he'll see you. Where you been You'll see him, he'll pull right up on that tree. Like there is now, right there, as I speak. He lock up about, about five, six people for open containers, harassment, you know. He, then we know he prejudiced because he caught one girl a black hole down there, you know. He grabbed me one time and threw me up against the fence, you know what I'm saying? And hit my head on, you know, you know what I'm saying, on the tree, started bleeding. I started complaining about, I want to, you know what I'm saying, make a complaint. He let me go. These guys around right here, when they get cold, they gonna do stupid stuff. They go in that store, walking down in front of the man, pick up something to get locked up, where they can stay gone. The majority of the winter, they gonna stay gone to February. February, they get released. It's coming being warm again. They gonna come back out here and do the same thing. That's their routine. Every winter, right? The jail is full because the homeless. 
I ain't got nowhere to go. And I ain't got enough shelter. So they feel they go to jail, right? Tax, taxpayer will take care of I ain't never been at war as far as the government, but on these streets, you know what I'm saying? I've been in war, you know what I'm saying, for years, in and out. And dig it. I got the war wounds in the whole nine. But the thing about it is, though, I ain't trying to, you know, praise it. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying, going, going through the stuff I was going through, you know, it exemplified that, you know what I'm saying, through my struggles. I seen, you know, I mean, this is sitting up in line. It shouldn't be this way. Shouldn't be nothing like this. As far as the programs, you know, if you want a, you know, a solid program, you, you have to really delve into it because you know it's a lot of programs, um, government programs that's not yeah. working. There's a couple of guys that we did get in housing up in Cobb County. They're actually living in a house in Cobb County. There's a couple that are living in rooms. So you do have some success stories, but you do know that everybody won't or don't want to come out from down here. But you help those that, that do want to and continue to help those that stay. You know, I tell anybody, just because you might not be homeless or you might have a job, I mean, you could be one check away from being homeless. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, shit, that's my story. And you know, I'm doing good. I'm with my family now. We're doing real good. You know what I'm saying? But we're still struggling, still. You know what I'm saying? As far as the economy goes. So are you in the home now? Or yes. Home? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You know, you know, East Point. You know, so you know, it's a blessing, but by the same token, it's a lesson to, to you know, to, to um, anybody who's, who's who's seeing this or whatever, whatever, you know, to know that you could be in a situation, so don't take nothing for granted. You know what I'm saying? Because it's easy to say, you know, this never happened to me, but a lot of them have talents. A lot of them do have talents that are out here that they could use to fix up things and stuff, but people don't know. They just see them and say, okay, uh, they put themselves in that situation, but we never know what put us in the situation. You know, I have my own little business and stuff called uh, Power Max Diversified Products Incorporated. You know, it's, it's you know, long name, a simple game as, as far as I was doing chemical solutions, door to door, and small business. I am very much registered out here. I used to be a dispatcher for the police. I could have went pro in football. Told me Nia got kicked out of school. Because I read for him. Because I ask him every day to take the taste of this, 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 this crack away from me. I, I had friends out there that, that just, you know, just, just got off of it for six or seven years and have them look back. You know, I guess God was ready for them, you know, to get off of it. And I'm quite sure soon he's ready, he's gonna get me off of it. Facing the kids that's growing up now, see, see, see this, you know, and what I'm saying, get some kind of message out of it and, 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 and make them stay away from drugs. Smoking, shooting, snorting, with it, taking pills, alcohol, you know, get an education. Now, nowadays, you have to have education just sweeping shit behind a parade and where the horses that shit. Get an education, stay away from drugs, and encourage your friends to stay away. It's the best thing to do, because it, it's, it's no end to it. You got to want to get out these drugs, and I, I, I want to. Never, if, 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 I, if, I, if I could write a book on how long I've been out here on drugs, it would be a bestseller. I guarantee you. He was born into this world by a top flight old boy and girl. And y'all destined for luxury. Y'all can drive a 747 car and you just bypass them mom. Y'all just be the men you be. I say, I say, you can wear silver and gold with holes in mixed stoves, with a robot to bring you your clothes. I say, I made the fetching, a butt of the kitchen, just a booger, follow out your nose. I say, spouses instead of pounds, 
castles instead of house. Because I got connection from Pluto to Mercury, where I claim international fame and I pop that big time game. You gonna beat the men yo beat. Possession, possession with intent, possession with intent to distribute. Nothing, nothing with drugs, nothing with drugs, you know. My record's so ugly, I can't even have a sponge. It, 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 always, it always be that with me. It, 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 and that's the other reason I stopped selling drugs. If I go back, if I go back to jail for selling drugs, I'm going to do 30 years to the door. I can't see myself doing it. I can't see myself doing it. And 30 years to the door? And I'm 52 now? Come on. In my, in, 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 in my, in my life, in my life when, uh, when, I, when I was in prison, when my daughter was, she, was, she was a child, it's where I just, I, you know, I, I couldn't go see about in school. My grandmama had to do it, you know. But I refused to let my grandkids, you know, I want to see them walk the aisle. I want to see them graduate. I want to go to some of my grandkids' football games, you know. Um, my, my granddaughter's first recital, you know. I, I, when, when, I'm, when I'm locked up, I, I, think, I think good things I need to do, things I want to do. When I get that guy in the same environment, same shit. You know? Same shit. Well, that's how long it's been off. No, I ain't just saying. That's when it happened. Right before we interviewed this gentleman, we interviewed that guy. Mm -hmm. so, what'd, you what'd you find him at? Right here, yeah. Right here. Bro. Excuse me. That's the wrong man. Okay. I'm pretty positive, yeah, because okay, yeah, we've been here for about she, 30 minutes. She done pointed out two, two more people up the street. We, we, we just got to look into it. I got that. All right. I knew it wasn't going to be that. I've known this lady for 20 some years, man. Been over here just as long as I have. You know what, man? This, this girl, she used to be one of the most attractive ladies in the city. Man, I've been knowing her all my life. I've been telling you. Back about 20 years. That's yeah. right. Like, like, Northside Drive, Northside Drive, and Tech, what's over here, son? This girl was one of the most attractive ladies downtown. And kept in state dress. Mm -hmm. Wow. She just, she just lost it. She Take my money, that's what they're here for. Yeah. To serve and protect. I want my motherfucking money, son. What happened? Took my money. Okay. They run up on me, I'm going to put some bang on me. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I used to be a beautiful woman. Have that was you? I used to be a measurement, chilling, no fault to high school in fucking very intelligent. May twenty eighth, nineteen eighty eight. What happened on that day? My dad. You talking about that dare? My great killed my mama. Great husband killed my mama. They gave my mama too much of a wrong man. Not a dog that you talk about. Thank God it was sick. My heart hurt. I'm sorry. I started off like at 21 years old. I started using hair run. My dad introduced me to the like the pimp and stuff. But with the pimp and stuff, it goes through. You know the stories about pimp. As long as you got crack, the holes are there. It's not. It's not like it used to be because the girls don't walk no more. It's all about the dealing. It. It's all about escort service. You know, so I mess with these white girls and I'm doing dope. I find myself, I lose my car, my house, everything, like overnight. But I was on the cover smoking. I like smoked and got high on the weekend. Then I started smoking to get high Monday, 
Then I skip and start smoking, get high Wednesday. Then all of a sudden, boom, I'm missing work. Boom, there you go. I start smoking every day. I gotta sit down because my legs are getting out of here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get this ability right now. That's my old pimp popping out of LA right there. What's cracking like? He done fell off too. Oh. He done fell off. Hell oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, I used to have a grill like this. Up. Dope took that boat. Don't make your teeth fall out? Yeah, don't make your teeth fall out. Yeah, yeah. Man, Ronald Crack is the number one. Let me see all these. Nah, nah, two back Come right. on, man. Everybody you see with Still that smoke crack. Don't you see that teeth right in front of Yeah, he does up, man. What's wrong? Every day I had a bitch on the track with the legs wide open. You ought to pick up a back. On a fire, pepper fire, and they called me a back. And I called rules to this guy, and I checked him for that. A lot of people are quick to look down on me because I'm homeless, disrespect me. What they fail to realize is I'm a person too. I might not be living as good as them, but I still have, have a soul and still have a story. What's going on with you today? Well, woke up this morning, thank God. I'm see you another day. Anything on your agenda for today? Trying to make it. I find different ways to make money, like sell dope, pick up cans, have a little rum and sell. But I never had to, to, to stoop down to sell my body. I'm originally from Virginia, but uh, not today. They, they, he left this morning. He left. Yeah. Um, originally from Virginia, and now I'm at home now. Um, 52 years old. On the wrong path. Well, I, I ain't always done drugs. You know what I'm saying? My profession, I'm a licensed chef. Yeah. And um, I got caught up in drugs, um, selling drugs, smoking. I have a beautiful family. I have a daughter, 34, three grandkids, and one great grand. My daughter, daughter named Stephanie. Um, she come by, she come by and see me every day. She, uh, she said, Mama, you ready to go home? I'm not, I'm not here by choice, not because I have to be here. It's just, it's just respecting my, 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 house, my house, my grandkids, my daughter. She know what I do. It, it, it hurts her for me to be out here because she, she tells me, Mama, I keep having these bad dreams. I keep getting hurt. I've been in jail so many times, you wouldn't believe it. I've been in prison, jail. My, 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 my police record is so, it's ugly. But my family, when, when it makes her cry, it makes me cry. I don't think we'll be out here too much longer. I'm a strong believer in God, you know. It's well. The Bible says everything is everything is written before time. You know, and I don't I don't know if this part of my test in life, you know. But, but basically I'm, when I'm out here, I'm helping others. You know. But I, I really can't understand it. You know, I, I, I haven't understand it. I understood it yet. Well, it's hard. Like me and you walking, and I know 
I think we know him, right? But it's bleeding. Not just no drop, but the bleeding. You know, I couldn't even hold my head up. You know, she bleeding. So I left that alone. But I can't remember to write today. We're going to do some to the crack. Everything. Who knows what you mean by just everything? Well, that's a funny story. Uh, my wife, I grew up with my wife, okay? She, me and her had a little girl. We got married in 92, okay? In 95, New Year's Eve, we were driving. A 17-year-old girl was drunk, run a red light. Broadside is. I lost my wife and daughter. A year and a half later, that girl went to court. She got three years probation. I don't remember doing it, but I jumped the rail in the courtroom and tried to kill her. The judge gave me 20 years in prison for trying to kill one person. But that girl got three years probation for actually killing two people. I don't care for the government. I don't care for the system. And I'm sorry. It was understandable. You have a little girl. I walked by and smacked her in the head. What you gonna do to me? Snap. Yeah. You gonna protect your kid. That's your life. That's your blood. That girl got three years probation for taking my life. Took him. It's my baby. It's my baby, Nick. Yeah. And it was a bad right now. I, I, I can't really have fun time. Will you? Yeah. You think I won't? Well, get yourself. Things people different. The, 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 it, it, it's a, like I say, if I take a hit right now, I can keep sitting here talking, talking to y'all, and it, it's no changing. Okay, say this is one of those, one of them people over there, they'll take a hit, and they have to jump up, go to tripping, you know, pick stuff about the ground, thinking it's crack. I apologize to him. You apologize? Yes. For what? Because he was the judge not the guy that took my money. Something's up. Something hurts you. Something helped it in your heart. And you shall go here and come suck shit out you and put it down. And find yourself in the shadow. Because I did not kill a damn one of you bush ass motherfuckers. You dumbass son of a bitch is around You know what I'm saying? I feel no man of God. Feel no man of God. See, I will take this cigarette by the way. I'll send my son to jail. And take this, 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 this hoodie. Put your drawers down, right? And wait till he goes to sleep. See how he's bound like you. And show like that. this motherfucker rip side. Come on and get it. Come on, come on, I'm getting up, I'm dropping. Oh, come on, we're going, we're going to bushes. We can go in the trees, in the woods. I'm going to drop and I'm just going to rip my hand. I'm going to give you something you want for Face the camera, baby. Face the camera. Face it, you. You want to keep talking shit. A friend of mine, um, God bless the day he's dead now. We, you know, when he used to take a hit, he used to, like, and when he came down one day, I said, man, I met you something. I said, when you take a hit, why do you do that? He said, everybody that's done wrong in life. He see them coming at him with guns, chains, sticks, axes, trying to kill him. You know, that's why I say, it, it, every, it, it affects people differently. You know, 
You got some that's still on the same level. They will be fully to the head. You got some that takes it to another level. You know, and uh, it's wild. <laughs> as well and I basically can deal with anybody on the on the trip. Once I, if, if, if say say if, if, if you take if you take your first hit and I see how you how you how you how you trip you then I know next time I I, I accept you. And at one point I thought my daughter was ashamed of me but she, she said Mama I never be ashamed of you. And whatever you do, you know and she asked me yesterday she said Mama would you get mad with me if I put you in a rehab? I told her no. But she just can't put she can't put me in the rehab. I have to go because I wanna go. Because she can put me there and I can just leave time she leave, you know? But I got to wanna do it. But I, right now, I feel like I'm I'm at my end now. You know. When it comes What's your name? Judy. Judy? Mm hmm Where are you from, Miss Judy? Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta? Mm hmm What parts? Um, basically all over. How old are you? Uh, 52. 52? Mm hmm Are you homeless? Yes. Yes? How long you been homeless? Uh, now about, it's about five years. How'd you get in this situation? What happened? Uh, drugs. Drugs? What type of drugs? Crack. Crack? <laughs> How long have you been using crack? Um, since, I guess, uh, 82. From the state of affairs in Iran to the state of Georgia, when you think of Georgia, you may think of peaches, pecans, and Coca-Cola. But these days, Georgia is becoming known for a different kind of Maybe you've noticed, but don't know why. Addicts are moving to a new drug of choice, moving away from heroin. We've all seen the homeless lined up at soup kitchens or sleeping under bridges. And when we see them, we're reminded that Atlanta has an underclass. An underclass that's often underserved. Crack addicts pay to humiliate themselves, and people are buying the DVDs, and the crackheads are now stars on Atlanta's streets. It's called Crackheads Gone Wild. It's here. And the guy that makes it says it's a public service. My name is Judy. I've been walking these streets for about nine years. Sometimes I got to sleep outside in the cold. Sometimes I don't have shit to eat. But these are the sacrifices I made in order to feed my addiction to crack cocaine. I, I lost control of my life. Where do you live at now? Right here in the living room. Right here? That's what y'all call this area? The living room. The police give y'all any trouble for being over here? Uh, well, no, this is not private property. This is basically owned by the church. Church, uh, they looked out for us. Over in this area, the living room, so is it it's a peaceful place? Everybody gets along? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we get, you know, have words, you know, but even I have words with my family sometimes. You know, we, we are family. If you could change anything in your life, what would it be? Get out these drugs and, and, and pursue my life like my grandkids grow up. Oh man, I'm trying to get up out of here. It, 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 I'm trying to take one step at a time. Why do you take drugs? I don't know. It's hard to say, hard to explain. How does it make you feel? <laughs> That's a question. I can't even answer right now. It's just, right now, it's just. just I don't get that, now I don't get nothing out of it now because you know, I've been doing this shit so long. It's, 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 it's old. It's old. My name is 17. I've been on the streets for 21 years due to crack cocaine and heroin. 